Sometimes I get the impression that a garden is incomplete if it lacks borders for the walkways, much like a room without baseboards. Brick, stone, or steel borders are commonly used by gardeners to keep grass out of flower beds. A plant like an evergreen shrub, however, can help you achieve a mellower, more wild, attractive, and welcoming appearance. We've listed the top 10 plants for creating attractive borders and walkways in your garden. Number one, I'll still be. This perennial will add a splash of color to a border that receives partial shade. Midway through spring and all the way through summer, all still be displays plume-like flowers in shades of white, pink, or crimson. They are hardy from U.S. day zones four to nine. These plants thrive in consistently moist conditions, but the soil must drain adequately so that water doesn't pool and kill them. Especially on clay soils, amending with compost or old manure can help boost fertility. Number two, daylily. Despite the fact that the daylily's bell-shaped flowers only last for a few days, the plant itself makes for a great border from spring to fall thanks to its mounds of green leaves. Grow a wide range of species to enjoy a continuous splash of color. This common perennial is adaptable to different color schemes. Daylilies are hardy perennials that can survive in a wide range of soil types even clay. They prefer full sun in soils that are moist, fertile, and well-drained. It is possible to cultivate smaller types in pots. Plants need to be divided every few years to ensure their health and continued growth. They can survive in climate zones four through nine. Number three, coral bells. When choosing border plants, it's best to go for those with vibrant leaf to really bring out the hues of the others. Dark purple foliage make yellow flowers stand out, while caramel leaves highlight the green of another species. Some of them can tolerate dry conditions after they've settled in, but others need weekly watering during the hot summer months because their roots are too shallow to reach the soil. Watering is typically unnecessary in the fall and winter. If you want to protect your plant's leaves from sun scorch, water them in the morning or at the base. They do well in climate zones four through nine. Number four, sedum. Varieties of sedum that grow in upright clusters are great for sprucing up the look of sunny front borders in the fall. This perennial, which goes by the common name stone crop, can withstand high temperatures and dry conditions while luring butterflies and other pollinators to your garden. If you're going to be growing them in a container, make sure the compost has some grit in it to help with drainage. Many sedums may survive in zones four through nine. Number five, catmint. Catmint can be used to soften the boundary between lawn and flower beds and to contrast with more spiky plants like irises and yuccas. This perennial will produce two or three waves of color each year if the foliage is pruned after blooming. Catmint prefers a well-drained, sunny border or raised bed. You may buy plants in containers year-round, but planting them in the spring or fall is recommended. They thrive in climate zones three through nine. Number six, Irish moss. This herbaceous perennial is one of the most multi-purpose plants around since it can be used either as a filler between pavers or as a lush border around a rock garden. When given ample sunlight, a small white flower blooms continuously throughout the growing season. Shade causes the plant to become lanky, lose some of its compact character, and form less appealing mounds in hot, dry climates, organic materials may be necessary for its survival. Irish moss can survive in zones four to eight. Number seven, Liriope. 
Lirioph is a herbaceous perennial that at first glance may be any kind of tall grass, but later on in its life, it produces beautiful lavender flowers. The tall, strong foliage is perfect for use as a garden border, where it will help to keep soil in place and deter erosion. At the time of planting, incorporate some compost to improve water flow around the roots. Using a shovel, dig holes just slightly bigger than the root ball and fill them in. Generally, Lyriope may survive in zones 6 to 10. Number 8. Creeping Thyme Known for its fragrant foliage and lovely purple flowers, this decorative herb is perfect for use as a ground cover along walkways and edging pavers on patios and terraces. This ground cover may survive in either full sun or moderate shade. When planting, loosen the soil and remove any weeds you find. Then water the area thoroughly before inserting plugs or sowing seeds. They thrive in climate zones 5 to 10. Number 9. Fern Dappled sunlight is perfect for planting luscious green ferns, so do so along wooded trails at a long shaded dries. Since ferns require consistently damp conditions, they make excellent bordering plants for water features. Zones 4 to 8 are optimal for fern growth. Number 10, Hosta. A garden path also looks great lined with hostas, which last for years. For a natural and supple border along the path to a poolside dining patio, these grass-joined bluestone pavers are etched with a selection of hostas in a range of colors. Zones three to eight are ideal for growing hostas. Number 11, Hydrangea and Lavender. Without further discussion, I can assure you that lavender and hydrangea will be featured on this list. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.